And now let's move on to the setup of the Fronius Data Manager card and let's cover the basics and the process on setting up the card for online monitoring. So there are four steps involved initially. So as the first thing, you got to go into the setup menu of the inverter. So you can use the first two buttons to, uh, to move left or right on the menu. So just enter into setup and then scroll down to Wi-Fi access point. And once you enter Wi-Fi access point, you can just activate your inverter's Wi-Fi access point. Please be aware, as Sam mentioned before, it's important to have the two RJ45 plugs connected to the inverter in order to activate the Wi-Fi access point. And without the RJ45 plugs, you will not be able to activate the Wi-Fi access point because it makes the solar net loop complete or termination. And that's why they're called termination plugs. So once you activate the Wi-Fi access point, let me play a quick video on how the setup is done. So when you're starting up to set up the monitoring, the first thing or the step that we would recommend you to is to connect your device to your home's Wi-Fi network and enter the password and connect it to it and make sure you're able to access internet. Okay, and this way you can make sure that the password works and also uh, you don't have any issues with the Wi-Fi network. Right. And then once you make sure that your internet is working, connect your smart device to the inverter's Wi-Fi access point, which is in the format of Fronius 240 followed by a few digits. And the de by default, the password is 12345678. And once you enter, that's connected and you see a tick. Right. And for this setup, you can either use the app or the default IP of the data manager card, which is nothing but 192.168.250.181. So you can either use the app or you can simply use the default IP of the data manager card. And once you enter into the default IP, you'll have two two options to choose from under the system monitoring. So one will be the solar web wizard and the other is the technician wizard. And for 90% of the installations and monitoring setup, you've got to choose solar web wizard. And once you choose solar web wizard, it will just prompt you for a uh, for few details. So you got to enter the name of the system. So I simply enter here as Fronius monitoring demo. And then you enter the feed-in tariff and choose the right currency. And then you enter the grid supply tariff. So here, feed-in tariff is nothing but how much your electricity retailer pays you when you export power or energy into the grid. And grid supply is how much the electricity retailer charges you when you import power from the grid. That's very simple. And then you make sure that you enter the rate, uh, right date and time and also to, uh, select the proper time zone and go forward. And then it will take you to the inverter tab. So under the inverter tab, you can enter the name of the system and then choose, uh, and then choose the inverter type and then enter the PV power in watts. So say for example, if you have a Primo 3 inverter and say if you have a DC power rating of 3,500 watts, you can enter that as 3,500. And then when you cl click on forward, you go to the network setup page. And if you're setting it up, up via Wi-Fi, you got to choose the option SolarWeb via WLAN. And once that's done, you can see the list of uh, Wi-Fi networks available close to the inverter and choose your home network or any network that you want to connect to. So here, the name of my network is uh, Fronius Gizv. So just choose the network. Choose your net network here, and then click on Set. And once you click on Set, it will prompt you for the password. So enter the Wi-Fi network's password there. And if you want to check if you have entered the right password or not, 
you can have uh, enable this option called show password and then save it and once you save the network you go to connect an option a uh, hidden option called connect and it will try and your data manager card will try to establish the connection with the wi-fi network So usually this process takes about like a uh, couple of seconds to a minute. So um, once that's done, you will be go. You will be able to move on to the next step. And the next step is network status stage. So here you will be able to see the availability of the network and the uh, and the IP address. There, there is an IP address that's hyperlinked, which you will have to click and you can continue the wizard right from there. So once it says the network availability as yes, then it's good, which means your data manager card has established connection with the Wi-Fi network. And then you've got to open the wizard again by using the hyperlinked IP address here. And during that step, you will have to connect your smart device to your home network or the network that you have chosen to, and then go back to the wizard and then open up this IP address again. And that opens up a new window to continue the wizard. So it says you are now in the configured network of the system monitoring and you can continue the wizard. So just click on forward here go to, and go to the next step. And in the next step, you will have to set up the password for the data manager card. And this is optional here. So when you move on to the passwords, so that's nothing but a admin password there that you will have to set up. So under the admin password, you enter the admin password and then you will have a small option saying prevent unauthorized access for the system. And if you want to uh, protect your system monitoring from unauthorized read access, you can select this option, else it's not required. And please be aware this is not mandatory and you can move on to the next step. And this is the final stage for setting up the data manager card. And once this is done, you're done with the monitoring setup. So here, you can either add this as a PV system right from the app, or sometimes, you know, um, if the app is a bit slow, you can just log on to Solar Web and add this as a PV system. And I will take you through these uh, settings and how to add this system on Solar Web when I give you the live demo. And some of the frequently asked questions on the data manager card setup. So my inverter displays Wi-Fi access point not available. How can I fix it? You say if uh, one of the two RJ45 plugs are missing, then it's quite obvious that you will not be able to activate the Wi-Fi access point and it will read not available. And the next one is uh, my inverter's display says Wi-Fi access point read only. And how can that be fixed? So there is an IP switch on the data manager card just on top of the four LEDs when you look at the data manager card from the bottom and say if the switch is towards the right, which is uh, position B, your Wi-Fi access point will be available. Say if it's in position A, it will say read only. And if it's in position A, you can access the data manager card by connecting a laptop or your computer through a LAN cable. 